we are back with Let's Talk Autism with Shannon and Nancy, and we're now joined by two remarkable women who are advocates, among other things, um, and activists, and they've got a lot going on in, in the areas of autism. Um, and they also self-identify as being on the autism spectrum themselves, uh, Kirsten uh, Fitzpatrick <laughs> and Cindy Factow. And I might want to say, Cindy, we just that video we just saw, uh, your son was featured in at the beginning of it because you were a military family. Yes, that was and the very beginning of our um, kind of journey into the world of autism and all of the different layers and, and aspects of the community. Well, tell us a little bit about your background and then we'll also ask Kirsten um, the same question. My background um, started off as a parent. Um, I had been diagnosed as a child with um, childhood schizophrenia, so that was what I thought I had. Um, and it wasn't until my youngest was diagnosed that I immediately became involved in the community. Um, we were stationed at Camp Pendleton. And Your husband was a Marine. He was a Marine, yes. Um, and so I immediately got involved with as, as many of the groups as I could, the EFMP, the Exceptional Family Member Program, which is available to family uh, dependents um, that have um, different needs. And um, kind of from there, um, got more involved in the community, joined the board of directors of the Autism Society San Diego, um, spent seven years on the board, uh, one of those years as president, and then I founded the San Diego chapter of the Autistic Self-Advocacy Network. Um, so I have two autistic children ages 10 and 20, um, and my 20-year-old is currently in college studying to become a, a surgical uh, technician. That's amazing. Okay, and Kirsten, why don't you tell us a little bit about your background? Um, well, I, I used to be in special education, so I taught for a while, and then um, also in counseling, so I have my PBS credential. Um, and then from there, I actually am a social worker now, so I work directly with families in our community. Um, but I have pretty extensive background in, in the private sector and also the public sector over the last 20 years. But um, yeah, so okay. I, I'm in the trenches every so you, day. you both come with a wealth of experience, and mm -hmm. let's talk about the program that you're here to, to talk with us about today. Well, can I just, like, because I don't know that we fully got, because we talked about it before, you okay. both have children who are on the spectrum, mm -hmm. and you both have been diagnosed as being on the spectrum yes. yourselves. officially diagnosed. So, yeah. Yes, <laughs> officially diagnosed. So I just wanted to get that comp so that our audience knows, because that's, that's a really unique and wonderful perspective to be bringing this project mm -hmm. from. So now, I'm sorry, uh, <laughs> now, let's, now let's hear what the project let's, is. Yeah, let's hear what the project is. Um, do you, do you want to start? Well, originally it started as just solely a social inclusion program. Um, so this was actually, it's a curriculum that was written over 20 years ago called the yes, Essay Can. I'm sure you guys have heard of it. Mm -hmm. So it was brought to our school district. Brad, who's our executive director, Brett Lieberman, he actually taught, he headed the program there, and he's a special education teacher. And he found over the years that there was really, there was a missing element there as far as um, working primarily with uh, high school kids, that they were really unprepared coming out as far as going into the adult world and employment and that sort of thing. So the, the social part of it was fine, but it just, it wasn't enough. So he, he started a, um, what's called a summer meltdown, but it's an event that he would have the students work on throughout the year. And they do everything from booking talent to lighting, sound. They were getting that, that real life experience. In fact, we just showed experience. a video about it before yeah. you guys came in, the summer meltdown. Yeah. Very exciting. Yeah, so in that video, the, the kids in the orange shirts are actually the students. So you can see that they're, they're actively working side by side with industry professionals, hands on, yeah. um, kind of that. I, I personally learn better that way myself as an autistic individual, and I think many of us do. So yeah, yeah definitely. It's a good Here, we've got some pictures up right now. Yeah, and we're huge fans of Logan Shepard. Uh, he's been very involved in the show, and he's his his band has played before at Meltdown, and so we mm -hmm. have mentioned Meltdown before because we're we're huge Logan Shepard fans. Yeah, yeah. So, so uh, what ended up happening was um, Brett came to me and he said, "I'd really like to make this more of a social vocational program, mm -hmm. not just a social inclusion program." Right. 
Um, so we sat down and we decided the only way to do that was to actually leave the district mm -hmm. and go out on our own. So that's what we're, we're doing now. So we're, we're in between. Our classes actually don't start until January, the first quarter of January. Okay. Um, so we have a waiting list. We already have families that are calling mm -hmm. in and, and want to get on the waiting list. So we're in the process of obtaining or getting vendorization with DOR Regional Center. That's where our funding's going to come from. It's because we don't, it's something we don't want our families to have pay for, yes. obviously. Right. And you're, you're, you have a need for sponsors and um, yes, we are. Sponsors we're looking and for and cor corporate sponsors, uh, grants, um, mm -hmm. endowments. Mm -hmm. um, we have some passive fundraising opportunities um, that we're working on getting started um, to where eventually people can donate their cars. Um, okay. But pretty much um, corporate sponsorships are a really big deal, especially when it comes to festivals. Putting on a, right. a festival of this magnitude, right. especially because it grows exponentially every year. Yes. So um, in order to keep it growing, we need to keep. So you're actively seeking that and you're actively recruiting board members too. Yes. 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 And, the, and correct me if I'm wrong though, but this program is to help uh, individuals who are in, that, in those transitioning years to be able to have all the skills that they need to have jobs, paid jobs in the music entertainment and industry. And not just paid jobs, but equally paid jobs because you hear all of these stories of sheltered workshops and people right. getting paid 11 cents an hour to fold towels in a back room. And really, you know, that's kind of, we all talk about it as a, as a executive group and, and we say, you know, we don't want our students to graduate and have that. We want them to have real, marketable skills that they can then take out into the community and work with some of our partners. Another thing that we're doing is we're partnering with companies and organizations that will take in our graduate students mm -hmm. as interns mm -hmm. and um, working on a paid internship program um, that will hopefully eventually lead to employment within the field. Um, but specifically the music entertainment industry. This is what mm -hmm. you're not trying to cover all vocational things. No. Which for, for kids who have a passion for this world, you're creating a, a path for them. Because mm -hmm. how often, I mean, listen, you know, any kid on the spectrum, not on the spectrum, comes to their parent and says, oh, I want a career in the music industry. Right. And the parent goes, okay, but you got to have a job, yeah. right? Yes. But And for our kids who are really in to this, I can just hear the parents going, oh, thank goodness, somebody mm -hmm. else has created something yeah. where they're going to take them from point A to point C, and you're going to get a job. Well, yeah. and a lot of these skills can also be translated to rela related fields, theater, right. film, yes. TV. You know, um, we work, we, in fact, we just attended an event with someone who does music for film and TV. So, he, you know, there's, there's a lot of that overlap that goes you learn sound and lighting and, and stuff like that, and you can then push that into different industries if you need to. So right. it's and you partnered with the Grammy Foundation Museum? Yeah, just so just recently, um, they have several programs themselves that are mm -hmm. actually very similar to what we're doing. So we're collaborating together to where our students, I don't want to jump around as far as how it's structured our program, but um, our students once a week are going to go out to the Grammy Foundation's programs. So they actually go on site and they, we collaborate in that way. So if they have events or the, the workshops that they put on, that that's actually become part that's of correct. our program. So we're, we're joining forces in that sense. But our program is pretty comprehensive because we have um, an assessment in the beginning mm -hmm. that we do. Um, so we look at um, the students, if they have an IEP, we look at that. Um, if they have an IPE, which is through DOR, Department of Rehabilitation, right. we, we look at that as well. Um, if they have an IPP with Regional Center, mm -hmm. we look at that. You we can actually, do all the letters. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> all, all the acronyms. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we, t we take as much information, we actually go out and we observe. Um, if they're still in school, we'll actually observe them in the classroom, that sort of thing. Um, we take input from parents, that's crucial. Mm -hmm. um, so we take all this information, of course, the students involved in every aspect of it, um, because we're very big on self-determination and being involved mm -hmm. in uh, your life, and, yeah. and you know, so that's an important factor. And based on that, on, on that data that we collect, 
we put together what's called uh, an individual habilitation service plan. Right. Mm -hmm. So then we have outcomes associated to that. Mm -hmm. So we find whatever deficits or things that the, the student may be struggling with, we build outcomes based on that. So throughout the program, we have our set curriculum, but we also are mindful of those goals and whatever that student's struggling in, we work with those things throughout the program. Um, we do quarterly assessments. So um, that's just for us to see if, if the student's on track to, to the goals. Okay. Um, and then we also do a semi-annual pretty large assessment. And that's, you know, we sit down together and we go, we on track, yeah. what do we need to do? Um, down to um, maybe the student thought initially lighting was a, his or her thing, but now I wanna do sound mm -hmm. so we can actually kind of gear them towards um, whatever direction they want to go right. and then we have mentors that help them there. And unfortunately we live in an age, um, when I was in high school my go-to social skills was show choir. I was in competitive show choir. That saved my life because I had no friends. Mm -hmm. um, you know back then of course they didn't call it autism but now we know. Um, but this became you know a built-in group of friends that had similar interests to me so mm -hmm. having that that thing to do that that commonality and building upon something i was already good at and had strength in was so important not only to um, my future but also to my self-esteem at the time absolutely what you guys are doing is important and unfortunately we're out of time but tell I us want how to get in touch yeah, yeah. How they get more oh, how they get <laughs> so ycunity.org so okay. if you want to learn anything about our program how to enroll um, there's a contact us page. If you want to donate, you want to be a sponsor. If you want to sign up for our board of directors, our yeah. application is right there yeah. online. So yicunity.org. Okay. okay, spectacular. And we great look forward program. to hearing more as you guys get everything up and going yeah. and, and, and seeing great things come from you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so, you so much, much for having you. us. Thank you. <laughs>